Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Trip to Be Square. This is Professor Icepick coming to you with the final mainline stream of the year. We are we are finally going to uh, be moving on to bonus games after this. Too bad what this is is going to be terrible. So <laughs> uh, let's get started. It's time to start up Quest 64. May God have mercy upon my soul. Because <laughs> clearly no one who... <laughs> the person <laughs> who nominated this certainly didn't have any mercy. And a THQ. Yeah, I checked it out earlier. There, yep, here we go. We got a cutscene first. Keltland, an island where magical spirits abound. This is the abode of magicians who have become powerful through a pact with the spirits. These are apprentices of Melrod Monastery. Among them, the young apprentice, Brian. 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 Kenneshire. This is the kingdom of Northern Magic, home of the Melrode Monastery. This kingdom is ruled by King Scotford. Hey, well, shit, I didn't get to read all that. Carmach. The kingdom of merchants is situated in the central region of Keltland, the richest and most beautiful of all the kingdoms, ruled by the lovely Queen Diana. Jesus Christ, it's going so fucking fast. What the hell? <laughs> I feel like I have to be the Micro Machines guy to read this shit. Oh, fuck off, Brian. Highland, the Kingdom of the South, located at the southern edge of the Isles. The Kingdom of Fire and Steel, ruled by the ambitious and warlike King Belgis. Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> Thanks to a treaty among the three kingdoms, the people live in peace and prosperity. Oh, sure, you can leave this on for like a fucking year. You can't give me like two extra seconds for the first fucking... One night, however, the monastery fell under an evil spell with the theft of an ancient book. Because of the theft, Keltland now faces dangers that is never before known. I almost said never known before, but whatever. All right, we're, we're just gonna try that again because, oh. I just, so I only get one shot at that? Well, that's bullshit. Huh. And maybe it'll just loop around after a little while. I didn't even do an audio check. Now I feel like an idiot. I feel like an idiot because I didn't even do a fucking audio check. Uh, uh, well, let's see how I sound right now, then. Okay, how do I sound right now? Okay, how do I sound right now? Okay, no hiss or anything, so that should be good. Wow, okay, yeah, now let's stop the echo. God, so, you only get one shot to read all that shit. God damn it. All right. Uh, and you have to use the analog stick on the menus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to put as much effort into this voice acting. Name, Grand Abbott. Brian, even though I begged you not to leave, you still say you must go after your father. No matter how wonderful your powers may be, you are still a child. Your father, Lord... Bartholomew <laughs> left to search for the stolen Elletail book and has been missing for a month. No wonder you are worried about him. Contained in the words of the book is a power that exceeds human knowledge. I wonder who could have possibly stolen it from the crypt of the monastery. If an evil person should use it, the country and all its cities will be destroyed. The spirit's blessings will disappear 
and Keltland will once again be visited by a, quote, day of grief. <laughs> a day of grief? <laughs> what the fuck? Bartholomew's disappearance may mean he is caught in the fighting over the book. If you go, you may find yourself in danger as well. If you still insist, begin by going to Don Doran. Don Doran? Don Duran, 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 going to Duran, Duran. Sorry, Don, Don Duran. Da, God damn it, <laughs> Don Duran. I'll ask the king of Don Duran Castle to protect you. Okay, I guess I have control. Look at this little twerp. Oh boy. Okay, so... <clears throat> Alright, so I don't really have a strategy guide I'm working from right now, but I do have a little bit of... I'm literally just gonna make... This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I can already tell it's so fucking stupid. Okay, let's see. What the hell is that? As you get close to a hidden spirit, you will see a sign. When you see it, press the Z button. The mark of four spirits will appear. Press one of the C buttons to choose which of the spirits you wish to increase. You will need as much help from each of the, these spirits as you can get. Use the C button like this. The fire spirit is up, the water spirit is down, the earth spirit is left, and the wind spirit is right. Memorize these positions. Thanks, Gellis. Jealous? Um, oh wait, that's a that's a. Okay, so I can't interact with the chest. Then. Got it. All right. Um. Okay, there's the door. God, what is with the camera in this game? Okay, let let me check. I'm already wondering, I know that the N64 didn't have much in the way of, like, traditional JRPGs, but I have to wonder if this is actually worse than nothing. Brian, the wooden scepter you carry and the magic spells you acquire throughout your journey are your only means of defending yourself against encounters with the enemy. Thanks, Fergus. See, so, yeah, I actually... I did remember reading something about this, actually, ironically enough, on a uh, website called the um, the Bad Game Hall of Fame. And um, what's interesting about this is the way that it handles leveling up, apparently. Like, you don't level up in the traditional way. You don't just, like, re get experience points for doing shit. Now, you, you level up based on, like, actions you take. Like, I think your defense goes up as you... Uh, take damage, your attack goes up as you attack people. Oh, that room is just literally identical to the last one, huh? Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> they're, they're all identical, and yet I'm still going into all of them just in case I find a spirit. So yeah, by attacking, your attack power goes up. By using magic, your magic power goes up. I mean, that's kind of interesting, but it's... You know, I'm sure that other games have handled this far. Spirits are hiding everywhere. Look for them in the town, the countryside, and every last nook and cranny. You can sometimes find them after battles, too. Be thorough, laddie, and you'll find everything you need. <laughs> when you find a treasure chest, move in close and a sign will appear. Press the Z button and you will find items that will help you on your quest. Use these items wisely. You might look in the monastery to find what you need to get started. Oh, here we go. 
That is clearly a treasure chest. I'm already angry at this game. We are like 10 minutes into the stream and I'm already angry at this game. Okay, finally. Yeah, bonk it. Do drop obtained. Okay, what does that do? No, oh, it recovers magic points, okay. Oh, that, that'll be useful down the line. Oh my god. Yeah, what cerebral story? This game is already garbage. Also, hello, Dari. I hope you're happy. Okay, so I can't open that door yet. Okay, fine. Let's go over. I literally am unable to control the camera in this game, which is horrible. I don't know if you can tell, but this game controls like ass. Okay, there we go. Dewdrop. Another fucking dewdrop. Okay, I have three of them now. Great. Okay, what's over on this side? Okay, now it's letting me leave. Ah, uh, here we go. Leave now, Brian. In his last letter, Lord Bartholom Bartholomew said he crossed Loch Kildaray on the way to Larapool. Be very cautious. Evil creatures lie in wait beyond these monastery walls. If I can find any more items or spirits or whatever. Oh, hey. Spirit, please protect this young lad. Light the way and watch over him. We'll make offerings for your safety until you return. Uh, thank you, Sirius. Okay, so basically you're a young boy who knows magic and your dad got lost trying to find some stupid magic book and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Oh, hey, another treasure chest. Out of the way, Chuckles. Welcome to the kitchen, laddie. Your quest is sure to be a long one. Please take this fresh bread. I made this myself. Okay, did, did I get the bread? Honey bread up to Okay, so supposedly I'm supposed to be looking for magic spirits, whatever the hell that means. Okay, that's a dead end.
All right, horse. Nay! And his name is Horse. A horse named Horse. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Select an element. Um, do wind, I guess. Oh, cool. Okay, so we found our first element. <laughs> Praise be, I guess, or whatever. Okay, wind cutter. I already don't like this game. town. I want to be a spirit tamer just like you when I grow up. Who's afraid of the big bad wear hair? What? Brian, sometimes you will need to use the B button to adjust your view. Wait. Wait, I can? Okay, hold on a second. I'm a pirate. Those monsters out there don't scare me. Brian, when fighting, you will have two octagon octagonal areas surrounding you. The large octagon represents the entire fighting area. The small octagon <laughs> represents your personal area of movement. Use your area of movement to avoid enemy attacks. If you move outside of the large octagon, you will have the option to escape the fight. Yeah, I like how his name is Brian. Fresh bread obtained. Bah! See if I can find any more elements. Now oh, look, some ladies. Lately, I've heard that monsters have been seen along the roads. They even say a thief is hiding in the woods. With your father gone, there's no one to tame the evil spirits. We pray Lord Bartholomew can find his way back and save us. Yeah, Lord Bartholomew is your father, by the way. Your father used to visit us often. He brought prosperity to all of us in Mel Road. I think your father just banged everyone here. <laughs> Brian. Okay, let's see. Ready to travel, are you? Fine, we'll give you some white wings. They'll bring you back to Mel Road anytime. It is important that you understand that wings will only work in wide open spaces. Take care. My grandchildren have gone out to play despite the dangers that lurk just outside our gates. I worry that the monastery will not be able to protect them much longer. Wait, if your dad's a dad, then why was he living at a monastery? It's a story from long ago, but terrible misfortunes fell upon Keltland because of the Elatale Book. Green fields were turned into deserts overnight. Busy, prospering towns disappeared, and the people became lazy. <laughs> I feel like those first two are way more important than that last one, but you do you, old man. Now, why does everyone have a poster of the elements in their house? 
house. House. <laughs> Why is it just a picture of a house? Oh, it's an inn. Don't you feel tired, Master Apprentice? Please, rest here for the night. We'll take good care of you. Will you stay? Yeah, okay, why not? Oh, okay, so this is where I save. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Continue save. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Yes, I, I mean, I did save, so... Oh, hey. Hello, Master Apprentice. I'm Shannon. I've been traveling hither and yon, all over Keltlane. I, I see you're setting out on a quest, too. I trust we'll run into e each other along the way. Hey, baby. Okay, the B button literally rotates your view, and I hate it. Okay, let's check all these rooms, then. Maybe, maybe there's something cool in here. Whoa, what's this guy? There are many spirits in Keltland's fields and valleys, probably around the towns, too. Only a true spirit tamer knows when the spirits are near. Why did I think he was a fat woman at first? Wait, it's nighttime already? What the hell? I didn't think I was in there for that long, but okay, I guess so. Alright, is this the exit? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, at least I saved the game, so let's have a random encounter, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, okay, um, all right. Ow. Um. Okay, that was dumb. Oh, okay, um, interesting. Okay, this is... I mean, I'm intrigued. It's not very good, but I'm intrigued by it. This is kind of stupid, honestly, but whatever. Ah, man. Oh. Oh, I see. So if I hit that button, then I skip my turn. Okay, fair enough, then. Killed one. How? Okay, that one hit me. Oh, I see. Okay. I I understand now. This is stupid, but I get it. Oh wait, I come on, I was up again. How the hell did I miss? Literally right next to it. There, finally. <laughs> oh my god, I hated that. <laughs> I hated that so much. Okay, now we've got like some real enemies or something.
Select an element. Okay, uh... Let's do fireball, then. Okay, uh... Let's continue, I guess. Why was I aiming at that one? Okay, I don't know why that missed, but whatever, I'll take it. What the? No, come on, I was up against... I guess I'll go with rock. <coughs> How the hell did that miss? Seriously? Some kind of a crocodile? Big mouth. Oh, it truly is a monster. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, no. health do you have one? Jesus Christ, that took forever! <laughs> oh yeah, and that's how you escape battles. You walk outside of the octagon. Oh. Okay, um... Give that to water. Okay, so now they've all got. Okay, we got. <sighs> Environment. Um, okay, I guess I'm heading in the right direction, it looks like. I gotta get 50 of each of these? Well, fuck. Alright. Oh, I don't 
like this one bit. Man eater. Ow, what the hell? Okay, uh, I don't like that. Oh god, okay, um... Okay, we're, we're going back to town. Okay, it's not letting me go back to town. No, wait, no! <laughs> I almost escaped! Damn it! No! Whew! Okay, uh... Let's go back to town, because I am, like, out of health, basically. Well, this is going to suck. From Melrode, take the... One side, and the spirit should be in the doorway. Feel tired? Uh, yes, I will stay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, take the path until you reach the first house. Say, here's a traveler with white wings. If you need another pair, return here. Okay, fine then. So, no. You can only carry one at a time. Alright, fine. Alright, so... Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you, laddie. Ever since your father went away, we've had to stand guard against the monsters that are surrounding our town. Lord Bartholomew was the spirit tamer, and we will not be safe until his return. Okay, so there's the path, so take the path until you reach your first house. Okay, so I guess it's that one then. Wow, does your father let you play outside? My mother says the monsters will get me. Aren't you afraid? Brick Walls Corner. It's getting dark and my boys are still playing outside. I wish they would come home soon.
the hell? How did that miss? Air. <sighs> ah, yes, the hairs. Oh, whoops. How the hell did that miss? There. I guess because they're wind element, they're not. How did that miss? Fresh bread obtained. Well, that's something. <coughs> I swore you said it's getting night and my balls are still playing. <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not, Dari. How the fuck did I miss? Thank you. All right. Maybe attacking them with their weaknesses gives you an element? I'm not sure. Let's see, am I heading in the right direction? I am. So, does that mean that you're weak to rock? Supposedly, there's supposed to be a house over here. Oh, there it is. How? Okay, I want to check out what's inside here. <coughs> okay, cool. Uh, okay, fortune teller lady. Travelers don't show up here very often. It seems that it isn't safe anywhere on the roads these days. Hmm, I see a future for you wrought with danger and challenges that no ordinary human could meet. It isn't clear, but your destiny awaits you at the end of the largest, longest road. Sorry, longest road, not largest road. Alright, back on the trail again, I guess. Um, let's see, am I heading the right way? Yes, I am. Big mouth, huh? Seems like he's weak to rocks. Oh, okay. What the hell? How the hell did that miss?
Damn it. There. Okay, uh, we'll give it to Rock then, I guess. Farther along this road is Dondoran and the Connor Forest. Don't get careless in the woods. A robber is about. Okay, I think you said that there was a spirit in one of these corners or something. I guess not. Look left of the spirit's door. Left of the spirit's door. Oh, come on, that's not... God! Ooh. Excuse me. Fresh bread obtained. Okay, good. I finally reached Duran Duran. I'm a clay digger, but I can't go into the woods because of the robber. What to do? Can't work. 
They say the robber is using an old fort in the forest as a stronghold. It's dangerous to set foot outside the city while he is about. Ah, I thought I'd treat you to a drop of morning dew, but you already have some. Well, next time, perhaps. What the hell does that mean? There's always some fresh bread for you. Come again when you have run out. Okay, so... What the hell is the inn? Even the king is worried about the robber. I heard he even sneaked into the cast sneaked into the castle. No one knows when the robber might come back again. I just hope he doesn't find our house. Father has hidden all of our valuable pottery just in case. Have you seen Princess Flora? She's a tomboy and is always getting into mischief. Exactly like the late queen when she was young. Bet she'll turn into a real beauty in no time. <coughs> I heard that there was like a Game Boy Color remake of this that was like significantly better. I mean, it couldn't be worse. Anyway. Okay, so this is the place where I get the... Oh, this is the... Oh, hello, Shannon. It's nice to meet you again, Master Apprentice. I'm surprised you made it this far so quickly. I assume you've heard that a robber is hiding in the forest not far from here. He has blocked off the road to Lock Kildare. Just our luck. We're stuck here until the road opens up again. All right, um... Welcome to Duran Duran, the town of pottery, Master Apprentice. What can we do for you? Won't you spend the night? Yes. <coughs> All right, let's see. Um... I've just arrived here in Duran Duran from across Loch Kildurin. But there is a robber in the woods, and there's no way to get back. Okay, follow Duran Duran. From the entrance of Duran Duran Town, follow the dirt path until you reach a... Oh, there's the castle, so that's wrong. Have you heard the news? A robber is living in Connor Forest. He's become so bold that he stole a precious treasure right out from, right of the, out of the castle. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so dirt path, brick path. So you can make a right onto the new brick path. Follow this down to a residential area. Before the houses, you see a path going right. But okay, maybe I'm heading in the wrong direction. And I think I know where he's trying to send me. But. Before the houses, you see a path going right. Take it, and you will be in a sand area. You will see two people just southwest of them. Southwest. Southwest. Oh, there we go. Come on, I just saw it. <coughs> all right, and they're all at three. Yippee. <laughs> Well, at least my agility is up to 10. That's something. Alright, let's go to the castle, I guess. Um,
You're the Melrod Magician's Apprentice, aren't you? Your quest is very difficult. I'll give you yellow wings. They ought to help. You must remember that wings will not work in the forests or caves. Okay, so yellow wings send me back here, and white wings send me all the way back to the beginning. So, good to know, I guess. Oh wait, I already talked to this guy. Welcome to Duran Duran. You are the lad from Melrode Monastery, aren't you? King Scott Fort is waiting in the throne room. Are there any spirits hiding in the castle? The throne room is through these great doors. You have been cleared to pass. Please proceed. Since a thief broke in here recently, everyone who comes in has to be identified. I'm sure someone from the monastery can be trusted. It seems like a pretty, um... It's a very trusting thing to say, actually. I think you might be an idiot, pal. takes me to another cafeteria, I'm gonna be mad. Oh. You're not a cafetorium. You're not a cafetorium at all. Notice how I no longer say library or tamari. Well, well, it's the magician's apprentice. This is Princess Flora's room. Should the king see a trespasser enter here, there will be an uproar. Oh, okay. Well, wait, I didn't want to go out. Let me at least look around first. Sorry, ma'am. Just looking for some spear... Oh, hey, look, it's... Oh. Hello, treasure chests. Mint leaves obtained. What the hell are you... Looking right at it. Dewdrop obtained. Dewdrop obtained. Oh, hello, Princess Flora. You enter unannounced. Your manners are worse than a thief's, but there's something about you. You're a magician, aren't you? Have you come to help us capture the thief? I wanted to go after him myself, but father forbade me to leave the castle. I command you to go into the forest, find the thief, and return our rightful possessions. If you have the courage, my father will reward you handsomely. Oh, hey. Hey, K.I. Don't worry, this entire game is making me feel groggy. I do not like it. I do not enjoy this <laughs> at all. This is a very bad game. I do not enjoy it. <laughs> so what's going on on this side? <sighs> oh, hey, a storage closet of some kind.
You startled me. I thought you might have been the thief, coming back for more. We never suspected that one man could pose such a threat to our castle, but his magic was overpowering. The castle guards went after him, but they were no match. I am still nursing my wound. When fighting Solvering, try to avoid his close range attack. It does too much damage for such a small lad as yourself. Escape really makes him look like a little kid trying... <laughs> oh, his cape. Okay, his cape. I get it. Yeah, no, I, I, figured, I, I figured it out. He's just this tiny little... I, I like how he's so tiny and everyone else is, like, gigantic compared to him. He's literally just a little boy. My little wooden boy, what have they done to you? A hearty welcome to you, Master Apprentice. The Grand Abbot informed us you were coming. Welcome to Duran Duran. You are the lad from... Oh, okay. Why have you kept us waiting? We've had a serious robbery here, and the king has no time to waste, so be quick about it. Wow, this guy's kind of a dick. So, you are the master apprentice the Grand Abbot has written about. Welcome to Duran Duran. I know you are searching for your father, Lord Bartholomew, who is missing on his quest for the Ella Tale book. I would like to help, but first I must take care of a most pressing matter. You may have heard of the brazen thief who stole the earth orb from my secret treasury. I sent my troops in pursuit, but they were helpless before the thief's black magic. He now blocks the road to Loch Kildaray. If you are to continue your quest, the roads must once again be made safe. Oh hey, more treasure chests. Bonk. And two fresh breads. That'll be helpful. What about you? Are you another fr fresh bread? Eh, do drop. Okay, well that that works too. There he sulks like Achilles in his tent. You know, Achilles from the Iliad. <laughs> I mean, there are some interesting aspects about this game. It's just that it's all poorly done. Honestly, I'd love to see something else, you know, attempt some of these mechanics here. So, so it's like, you don't level up through experience points. You level up by doing stuff like running on the in-game map increases your agility. Uh, taking damage, um, I think taking damage increases your defense, or maybe increases your health. It's one of those two. Um, attacking increases your attack. That sounds like the real Final Fantasy 2. Oh, okay, so something else did do that. All right, well, fair enough then. I guess I gave this game way too much credit. Thank you for, uh, thank you for demystifying me. Okay, so, let's see. So next I need to go to the Connor Fortress. Connor, Connor Fortress or Connor Forest? Connor Fortress, okay. All right, let's go. Oh boy, another were hair. Hey, were hair, what you knowin'? I came to see your power growing. Dead. I don't give a fuck. Goodbye. Go to hell. <laughs> Go to hell. Oh god, these things again. Look out, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater. Ow.
Where are... We are weirdos, <laughs> random battles. Okay, I don't 100% understand what you just said, but I appreciate it. Oh, okay, so he's weak to water. Ba -da -da -da. Okay. Are are those random battles? Yes, they are. Yes, they are random battles. They are weird though, so don't get me wrong. Um, let's see. Well, I guess the. Oh, God damn it. Uh, no, they aren't. Spells are not consumable items. It's not that bad. Basically, what happens is that you get these spirits, and you use the spirits to increase your magic powers or whatever, so... Oh, there we go. See, like that, exactly. Um, we'll do a fireball, then. Am I heading the right way? I am. Okay, good. Oh my god, knock it off already. Um, let's see. Why did I hit him with the rock? I mean, sure it was a big rock, but still. Looking for the guy with the earth orb? Yeah, technically. Ah, here we go. Okay, my very first dungeon. I bet this won't suck. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It will. Uh, let's see, so that's an X. I wonder what the X means. What in the fuck? That's a kobold? Ow. Okay, well that was a bad idea. Ow. What the hell? How did I miss? Ow, 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 what the? Okay. Um. Oh, wait, no, come on, I was, I was lined up with them perfectly. How did that miss? Finally. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Good, escape, yes. Okay, we're going back to the village because fuck that. Look at, look at me. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> oh, it put me inside and I guess I just didn't realize it. Okay, let's go to the inn and heal and then um, get those wings. You know what, we'll get the wings first. Halo, Halo, voice can pick up Xenoblade, but it brought up Halo for no reason. Halo, Halo. <laughs> uh, 
I'm in a place called something or other. I don't fucking know. I, I'm... <laughs> this game is so boring. <laughs> I have, like, nothing to riff on here, and I'm kind of angry about it. Face textures in this are frightening. Here are the Melroad. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Give me the fucking wings. Remember, you can't use them in forests or in caves. That's because, as we all know, forests are not in open areas. I'm an old man. Uh, who gives a fuck? Yes, I did. I saw the numbers change. And as you can see, the... Oh, no, 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 no. Continue save means that you'd basically be saving a second time. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I can barely understand this game to begin with. Oh, cool, another, um... I want to see if, like, getting up to a certain number will, uh... Okay, cool! All right, great! All right, you know what? I'm fine with this. Okay, so we... Whoa. All right, so we leveled up this... Okay, I understand now. So, getting up to five... All right. All right, I can live with that. Good to know. Too bad everything else is at, like, three, but... At least I understand now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. huh. Ooh. Eight and seven, huh? I like that. Go back to hell, big mouth, you dick.
The sad part is I'm starting to get the hang of this. Oh, hey, a spirit. Uh... We'll give you the water, I guess. How's it going? This game is god awful. I hate it. I hate Dari for making me play it. Ow. Oh god, I'm really low on health. He's a kobold, not a wolf. <laughs> Dude, god damn it. I mean, it's about as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, so that looks like, oh, that must be the way to uh, the, the lock. Oh, hey, new enemy type. Are those Slippy from Star Fox? Frog Knight. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> I guess I would say about the same, really. right up against him. Finally. Okay, good. All right, cool. Oh, well, that's not gonna be too much help. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm just going to ask another fucking spirit. Thank you. Okay, so that just makes a bigger pillar. All right, fine then. How the fuck did that miss? Fucking missing, you idiot! Uh, Alright. Wait, which way am I going? Uh, of course. There's a house over here. Maybe it'll have something in it that can help me. Oh, like a spirit. Fine, give me another wind cutter. Giant's shoe. Giant shoes. Take giant steps in battle and double your. <laughs> what the fuck? 
giant steps. Or giant shoes. What the I have no idea where Connor Fortress is. I mean, I'm in the forest. Is the forest Connor Fortress? There is no forest map, that's kind of the problem. I grind then. Uh, Alright. We're gonna try to look for the exit here. Oh my god, where is the exit? Oh my god! Leave me the fuck alone! Oh my god, I think I'm toast. Oh my god, I actually survived! Fresh bread obtained. Oh, thank god. Okay, yeah, no, we need that. Eat the fucking fresh bread, you idiot. Mario Nasty, like ho Super Horneo Brothers. signpost. Okay, are you the exit? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. I have no idea if there's any healing magic. Actually, Dari, would you mind looking that up to see if there is, in fact, healing magic? the entrance. In a little right, you'll see aim your hand, go two trees. We'll see the spirit. Okay, I don't think Dari's gonna try to help us.
At the entrance, go to the fork, fell it a little. Okay, well, I found that one. Uh, let's see. Um, well, my agility is getting better at least. How the hell did that miss? Do they have any uh, level suggestions or something? Like, what? where should my stats be at? Or anything along those lines, or... I think the problem is that water ha has such shitty range as an attack that, you know, it almost just doesn't seem worth it at this point. I mean, it's good to know that I eventually get a healing spell with it, but still, you know, it's kind of annoying. Do any of the other elements have any specific properties like that? at him. No. Throw a rock too far at him. A big rock. All right, so are they trying to tell me that I want to, like, stay near the entrance of the forest instead of just level up on enemies but staying close enough where I can escape and just go back to town to heal? Is that what they're implying, or...? Okay, that's the... Ah, 
I'm assuming. Okay, fair enough. Then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna heal up and then I'll try that. Okay, that's where I get the wings from. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, the house is the end. That's right. Okay, now watch this time, K.I. Okay, see, it says 25, overwrite data, yes. Now it's at 41. Continue save. So yeah, as you can see, I did save, but I agree with you. This is conf This game does not do things with anything even resembling logic behind it, so... Alright, let's see. Okay, so it does do defense then, all right. So, defense is at 10, agility is at 16. Say what it wants me to get my um, agility up to.
A good 12 in defense. Oh, I thought it said 16 in defense. Hmm. I already have a 16 in agility. Ah, oh, man, I'm only at 11 in... Well, that's... That's disappointing. Well, at least there's one thing you can say about this game. At least it's original. So I guess healing is what increases your health, then. My health actually did go up somehow. All right, let's see where I'm at. 12, albeit just barely. Okay, uh... Back to town, then. Let's get another set of those wings, heal up, and then uh, try to get the, that tower done, I guess. Ugh. I wonder if this game would have been more despised or just more forgotten if it had been on the PlayStation. Either in addition to or instead of the Nintendo 64. What do you guys think? to I don't think it would have mattered that much if it was instead it would have been completely forgotten fair enough 
So you think that if this game had been uh, had been on both platforms, it wouldn't have made any difference at all? I figured that, like, you know, at least being on the PlayStation as well would have, like, made it more forgettable, personally. <sighs> okay. 48... I don't know, maybe they're maybe they're counting it in metric time. Maybe maybe they're just counting in metric time. It would still be the first N64 RPG if even if there was a PS1 version. I guess that's true. Okay, let's go to that dark forest. Maybe these stats are enough to... The only reason why it's well known is because it's one of the few RPG of the time. Trying to level up my melee attacks here. Okay, so I can only hold up to fifty of each. All right, fair enough then. Seems to imply that I want to go this way. Wait, what? No, come on, I was... This is going significantly better, actually.
the hell? I was up a... The staff icon was showing. Why didn't it attack? Wait a second. Hold up. Okay, I got a healing spell now. Nice. Where did that even come from? Don't get me wrong, I'll take it, but still. So I want to head south then, okay.
Celine's Bell? What the hell? Captivate. Oh, I see. Well, that's interesting. It's like as I use this spell, it also gets better, too. It's good to know. God damn it. Bread. Damn it. Why? How? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Uh, okay, lost a lot of progress there. I think. Or did I? Oh no, I keep everything. Okay, good, that's... something, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. So if I die, I just get sent back to the last inn I went to. With absolutely no downsides. I mean, I'm kind of surprised, but... Okay, Dara, I'm just gonna ask you outright, is there like any sort of pathway to this, uh, to the actual dungeon in there, or am I just supposed to wander around aimlessly?
Yeah, to get to the fortress. Because I'm in the forest, but I'm trying to get to the fortress. Oh. Hey, it's daylight now. That's... That might actually be helpful, honestly. Seriously, why did they make this toad... Why did they make the frog knight look so much like Slippy? Yeah, but Chrono Trigger Frog, didn't he fight with a sword instead of a, um, a spear? my accuracy so low now. Thank you. 
Whoa. Why is my accuracy getting worse? There's a spirit by that big tree, okay. Oh, I see it. Okay, cool, it's up to six now, good. Wind cuts accuracy. Oh, so in other words, I should... Okay, fine then. I take it that fire increases attack, and what does rock do? Defense? Why does it think that mantis flying squirrel bat thing or thing is a bat? Uh, I don't know. Whoa! You're new! You supposed to be oh a man trap. Soul searcher. Ah, interesting. I'm attacking in the 30s now? Nice. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is the fortress. And there's a little ghost. Hmm, restriction, huh? Interesting. Well, hopefully this will be a little more straightforward. Oh, yeah, this is... 
actually incredibly straightforward. Um, okay. What's this? What business do you have in the castle of Solvering? King of the Beasts. Did that fool in Duran Duran order you to come after me? Idiocy! I stole the earth, earth Orb, and it is all mine! With it, I'll become the ruler of Kenneshire. I'll show you humans what real power is! Okay, so... I believe what they said is stay away from him, so... Okay, cool. Whoa! I'll throw a rock at him! Oh, okay, um... I'll throw a fireball at him! Oh, okay, that didn't do much. Okay, um... What the hell was that? Oh, I see. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I don't like that. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I cannot dodge that. Okay, I think he's got like twice as much health as me, so I want to wear him down a little bit before I do that. And dead. <laughs> Earth orb obtained. Because I kept using it, that's why. Mint leaves obtained. Like, that's the thing. That's how you power up in this game. You use shit, or you do stuff that's related to shit, basically. You take damage, you get more health. You... And more defense. You take... You attack... Oh, hey, cool. I got another honey bread. Okay, good. So it was all worth it.
All right, well, let's give the earth orb back then. Um, damn it. I mean, you've seen me, like, bonking everything, haven't you? Okay, uh, have a good night, K.I. I don't think I'll be spending too much more time on this tonight, but, um... <sighs> All right. Here's a fire ball. Silver amulet. I wonder what that does. Protective. Ooh, okay. Well, cool. Yeah, I guess it was only going to be a one time use thing. Likewise, it seems like using healing is. Oh, crap. Okay, wrong way. Oh, hello, man trap. See, I knew he looked like Slippy. Oh, okay, so you can heal too. I don't know how I feel about that. Bonk. Bonkity bonk. Stop healing. I don't like it. I know, right? That's what I said. Knock it off. Stop healing. Wait, I should be allowed to heal. That's not fair. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, let's try to get our rocks off then. I want to. I, I want to get rock up to five or earth up to five. I guess really is what I'm trying to say here. Oh, hey, I already got rock level two. It's a bigger rock. I love it. It's a big rock. <laughs> yeah, okay. No more big rocks. It was a big rock. Ooh, 
Fresh bread. Damn it! Okay, finally, I'm back at the start. Finally. Yo, Dari, could you do me a solid and look up if, like, how many days it takes you to beat the game alters anything important? Stats have gone up significantly. The robber seems to have gone away. I wonder who conquered him. Even an attack by soldiers couldn't do the job. Must be some fantastic warrior. Oh, I'll talk to Flora. The throne room is through these great doors. You have been cleared to pass. Please proceed. Okay, fine. Your victory was most unexpected. I never thought the magic of an apprentice an apprentice could succeed where a knight's sword could not. You have succeeded where my bravest knights have failed. It's just as the great grand abbot foretold. I hereby bequeath you the earth orb. It will help you in the search for your father and the Elatail book. Listen carefully. A hidden door beneath the throne is open. You may take from it any treasures you need. Your courage must be rewarded. Okay, so there's a... Wait, 
Oh, here we go. Okay, I will take some treasure. Oh, hey, a, a ghost. Or a spirit. <coughs> uh... Healing potion obtained. Okay, that could be helpful. Replica obtained. The hell's a replica? Use this. Substitute this doll to escape a fight. Oh, okay, that could. That could actually come in handy at some point, maybe. <coughs> Hero's drink obtained. Recover 40 MP. Okay, fine then. I'm seeing nothing in particular. Okay, so it's just like one of those things that doesn't mean anything. All right, I'm going to talk to Flora, then I'm going to save, and then I'll probably call it a night. Because I hate this game. I hate it so much. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I'm giggling like an idiot should tell you that this is breaking my brain. Yeah, I really think it's... I think the most disappointing thing about this game is that there are no party members. It's just... You're just stuck with Brian. With Brian. The hero. Brian. What kind of name is that for a hero? Brian. Well, well, it's the Magician's Apprentice. This is uh, Princess Flora's room. Should the king see a trespasser enter here, there will be an uproar. Her name is Kale. Okay. I really didn't think you could do it, but now you have our undying gratitude. Are you sure you're just a Magician's Apprentice? Your powers must be beyond compare. Oh, well, that was... We were a lot spunkier before I killed the boss. I'm kind of, I'm kind of no longer into you. You're just kind of boring now. Wait a second. Thought I saw something over there. <laughs> Must have just been an artifact. Okay, so what do the other elements do, then, before we call it a night? Or do they do anything? I'm flabbergasted. It's the Earth Orb. You got it back. I can't believe it. Maybe I'll try to get to the next town. That's not an ordinary gem you have. Don't let anything happen to it. I have a feeling you are the one capable of releasing its power. Welcome to Duran Duran. Blah, 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 blah. I, I don't care anymore. Wow, that's a pretty ominous skyline, if I do say so myself. I'll throw a rock at him! Get 
the fuck out of here. That was kind of stupid. <coughs> All right. Let's see, did the map change? Yes, it did. Oh, wow. Where the hell are you supposed to be? Okay, stronger versions of the, um... Yeah, no, I know that. Yep. That's what that article I read told me. Running around in circles? Oh, fair enough. I guess that is more of a cheat then.
Christ. Look at them gnarly gnomes. God, I'm frozen in place. Oh, okay, now I'm not. At least they're goblins. Oh, slow down.
I mean, I think the goblins look like goblins. Okay, another new enemy type. Interesting. Oh good, we finally hit seven. God. I'm out of bounds. Why am I not out of the battle? Come on! No, I was... That's the thing. I was out of bounds.
Oh, I don't like this one bit. A frog king, huh? Oh, that was easy enough. My god, an in, finally. Okay, we're gonna save here and then we're gonna call it a The water capital Larapool is located on the other side of the lake. There's no fairer city in the Isles. It's even as pretty as the castle town Limelin or Limelin. Welcome to the hotel by the lake. Will you be staying here? Yes. Okay, so until next time, this has been Trip to Be Square. I've been Professor Icepick, and I'm signing off. See you next time.